All right, uh, my name is Randy Rowland. I'm the Senior Vice President of Product Development for Terramark Worldwide. Uh, Terramark is a builder and operator of top tier data centers. In those data centers, we operate, uh, manage hosting and cloud computing uh, products for our clients. And my focus over the last few years has been product development of our managed hosting and, and cloud platforms. So tell me a little bit about, uh, uh, maybe describe the kind of cloud offerings you have right now and, and maybe some of the ones that are uh, receiving the most interest from, uh, from users. Okay. Um, Termark has two cloud platforms today. Uh, we have our public cloud offering called vCloud Express and our virtual private cloud offering called Enterprise Cloud. Um, the differences are they have a similar technology on the back end, but the virtual uh, private data center, um, our enterprise cloud, was built from the ground up for enterprises, government institutions, uh, with built-in security uh, from the ground up. And our virtual, uh, our public cloud offering, uh, vCloud Express, is designed for online credit card signups, uh, pay per hour per instance. Uh, very similar uh, to some of the other public clouds in the market. Uh, the benefit uh, that we have is that uh, our, our technologies are based on VMware, uh, which is what most of the enterprise is standardized on. And so we are an easy landing place for companies that have already virtualized their data center, uh, and they're looking for either a public cloud or a private cloud offer. So in terms of uh, the sort of uptake on vCloud Express, what, what are you seeing? Is it... Uh... Uh, are you getting a lot of folks who are interested in that? Uh, what, what's your sense of the uptake versus what, what your expectations might Yes, be? so we launched uh, vCloud Express uh, last summer at VMworld, and we had a lot of success early, and just here in the last couple of months, it's really started to grow. Uh, we've, we've noticed a uh, substantial pickup in the, the signups, um, and the other thing that I've noticed is the number of virtual machines per client is starting to grow. So it looks like it's a platform that people are interested in, um, we have a lot of our uh, clients that start with vCloud Express and then show interest in, in learning more about enterprise clouds. So we have uh, quite a few clients that are looking at both of our platforms. Um, but it, it's, it's growing, and uh, we're pretty excited about the future of vCloud Express. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about your relationship with VMware. Are there investors? How, how, how is that uh, working? Yes, yeah, so uh, VMware has um, about a 5% stake. Uh, they invested in our business uh, last summer. Um, and they're great partners. Um, you know, so we work very closely with them. Um, we um, share a lot of um, technology roadmaps. We work very well together. They, we also work together from a business development perspective. Uh, so the relationship there has been good. Um, VMware is one of our technology partners. We have many others that are part of our cloud platform as well. Uh, but VMware is uh, definitely helping us uh, grow our brand name in the cloud space and, and helping us quite a bit with the technology. Now let's talk a little bit about enterprise cloud. It seems to be uh, uh, getting some traction both with uh, the, some of the government customers uh, uh, and uh, with uh, uh, enterprise. What, what seems to be the... Uh, the attractiveness and, and uh, the reason that seems to be translating well? Yeah, I think um, it's, a, it's a good question. Um, since Terramark started our cloud platforms focused on the enterprise, a lot of the cloud adoption started with smaller users, consumers, and now it's starting to move into the strategy of, of enterprises and the federal government. And I think we're kind of at the right place at the right time. Um, we have a lot of experience managing those platforms. The one thing that has surprised me is how quickly the federal government is moving to the cloud. Uh, typically, they're behind commercial and the adoption of new technology, but you know, I think there's a couple of things. One is, I think Vivek Kundra has done a good job of, of promoting and giving people uh, the ability to consider cloud platforms. And um, because we built so much security into our platform, were an obvious uh, consideration for those type of projects, um, and and uh, that is a very large growth part of our, our enterprise cloud platform. On the commercial side, um, you know, I think what what clients what we're hearing from the IT department is when they're evaluating clouds, they have a lot of uh, characteristics they're looking for, um, and a lot of times they're they have tested public clouds. They're looking for something that's more secure, something that helps them achieve 
all of their compliance uh, requirements. And so now that the IT department is getting involved in cloud evaluation, the list of requirements are starting to grow. So what data center it's in, what right. platforms it runs on, uh, the level of security that's embedded, and also the optional security services you can purchase, those are all requirements uh, from the enterprise, and uh, we fare very well in those, and that, that's, that's fueling the growth. The other thing that's happening is um, we're starting to get a large customer base on the cloud that are continuing to grow their accounts. So they start maybe with a, a project, um, but now they're starting to look at other projects and moving more of their core systems into the cloud. So we're starting to see a fairly aggressive upgrade uh, path from our ex existing client base. And I think that's also kind of given us some, some momentum as well. Um, what's been, uh, how has the, uh, uh, the data center in Culpeper factored into the, the cloud adoption by the, the, the government? Yeah, so I think um, uh, our, our facility there was built to uh, federal standards. And um, one of the things that is interesting about the cloud, it's actually created additional interest in our, our standard co-location and managed hosting products. So uh, we have the ability to integrate cloud environments with colo environments and connect the networks. Um, and so what's happened is we're starting to get contracts from these uh, companies and agencies for colo because we have cloud there, right? Um, and so I think that location, the fact that it meets uh, federal standards, that we can create SCIF environments there, um, has drawn interest both in colo and cloud, and, and we're starting to win contracts because of the fact that we can integrate in a hybrid model. For enterprise users, security seems to be a question, you know, a, a key area of, uh, uh, of sort of concern that they're asking questions about and wondering about. Um, what, uh, how does the, the fact that you guys have these federal government uh, security-centric uh, customers in, in your facilities and on your cloud, uh, has, does that help? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think the, there's a general sense in the industry that if the federal government has selected something that's been through some uh, rigorous process from a security perspective. So having them as clients does give our commercial clients uh, more uh, more interest or more confidence that we've been able to get through their 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 security requirements. So I think that's helped us quite a bit. So we're we're out here in uh, uh, in San Francisco. Uh, you guys obviously are well known for your facilities in, in Miami and Culpeper. You also have uh, uh, operations out here. What's the latest on the on the uh, Silicon Valley uh, properties that you guys have, and and what the roadmap is for them? Yeah, so uh, we continue to build out our Santa Clara facilities. Uh, typically, because we have such a good client base that we, by the time we've announced construction, we also have pending orders from all of our existing clients to consume whatever it is uh, that we're constructed. So uh, we continue to build that out and, and upsell and renew our, our existing client base there. And it's a strategic long term. We do plan to have uh, deploy cloud solutions in Santa Clara, and it's an it's an important part of our uh, data center uh, footprint. Okay, Randy. Hey, listen. Thanks for for spending the time uh, to update our readers about uh, uh, Terramark and its uh, cloud operations. Thank you.